Rickon and Osha, having reached Last Hearth, are betrayed by Smallhorn Umber after the Great John's passing and brought before Ramsay Bolton in order to form an alliance against Jon Snow and the Wildlings. After seeing Shaggy Dog's decapitated head as proof of the boy's identity, Ramsay sarcastically welcomes Rickon home, while Rickon shows visible signs of anger at Ramsay and his dead direwolf. John and Sansa later receive a letter from Ramsay that says he has Rickon in his dungeon and that his hounds will kill their wild little brother if Sansa is not returned. After hearing that Rickon is in danger, John and Sansa declare war on Ramsay. Before they commence battle, the three of them have a parley where Ramsay asks John and Sansa if they will let Rickon die because they are too proud to surrender. When Sansa asks for proof that he actually has her brother, Small Hon pulls Shaggy Dog's head out of a sack and tosses it to the ground in front of them. Ramsay begins to repeat his terms if they wish to save Rickon but Sansa, having first-hand experience of Ramsay's mercy, cuts him off and declares that he is going to die the next day. As the two armies face each other on the battlefield, Rickon is brought forward. He lowers his head as Ramsay raises a dagger, but his captor simply cuts the ropes and asks if Rickon likes games. He tells the boy to run to his brother. Rickon begins to walk but looks back to see Ramsay taunting him and starts running. John, knowing what Ramsay is plotting, begins riding towards Rickon who keeps running and is nearly hit as arrows land dangerously close. Just as Rickon is about to reach his brother, he is struck by an arrow and killed. This in turn provokes John and his army into attacking the Bolton forces while Rickon's body is hit with another volley of arrows. Though the battle proves costly to the Stark forces, they ultimately emerge victorious due to the arrival of a House Aran cavalry force. Rickon is avenged when Smallhorn is killed in battle by Tormund, and Ramsay is viciously beaten to a bloody pulp by John before being fed to his own hounds on Sansa's orders. After the battle, his corpse is brought to Winterfell and John orders him to be buried in the crypts next to his father.